I am Anil Kumar and in this series we are going to apply the principle of inclusion and exclusion for counting purposes. I have taken a very simple example to begin with. The example here is a school bus that fits 24 people is taking 15 members of a basketball team and 13 members of volleyball team. Explain how is it possible. Very simple, right? So what we have here is two team players. One, we have basketball team, let's say BB. And the number of people in basketball team is 15, 15 members. As far as the volleyball team is concerned, we have 13 members. In all, if you add them up, you get 5 plus 3 as 8, 1 plus 1 as 2, right? So, members. Total. Now, they are all going in a bus which can actually take 24 people. The question is, explain how is it possible? Think about it. It's kind of obvious there could be some players which are common to both, right? And uh, how many do you think they are? Well, a bus can take 24. So if I take away 24, I get 4. So there are at least 4 common members, right? These are common to both the teams. I should say at least. At least 4. There could be more also, right? So if the bus, all 24 seats are occupied, then there are definitely four common members. Perfect. So that is principle of inclusion and exclusion. We actually included these common members while counting both teams. So we counted them twice. So from the total, it should be excluded, right? I hope the concept is clear. Now there's another way of looking into it and we call it Venn diagrams. You've seen these circles. Let me draw two of them. One for the members of volleyball team, the other for the member of basketball team, right? Let's say volleyball team and basketball team. Now from here we see that there are four members, at least four, which are common. So this group is for common members. They belong to both the teams, right? So within this green circle, basketball, four members, volleyball, four members. Now we know that there are 15 members for basketball. Normally, we also write this as, uh, in our nomenclature, we say number of players in basketball team is equals to 15. Now if four are common, how many are left? So we say number of members only in basketball team, right? So some of them are common. So only in basketball team will be 15 minus 4, that is 11. So let me write down 11 here, right? Similarly, we can work out on number of members in volleyball team, right? So, so number of members, let's write down here, number of members in volleyball team is given to us as 13 since four are common so number of members which only play volleyball volleyball only right will be 13 take away 4 and that gives us 9 correct so you can see from this that these four members which are part of both the teams have been included twice while counting 15 and 13 sum, 28. Since they have been included twice, we have to exclude them to get a real number of people, right? So that is principle of inclusion and exclusion. So whatever gets included more than required, right, should be excluded for getting the correct count. So I hope you have understood the whole process. We have used few technical terms here. When I write N, that's the event. 
BB basketball team, number of members in basketball team being 50, 15, number of members only in basketball team will be 15 minus 4 as 4 are playing volleyball also. So only in basketball, I should say not volleyball. Is that okay? Anyway, we could also write this principle of inclusion and exclusion as we really want to know how many number of persons are there in basketball team or volleyball team. Is it okay? So you could get it by counting the number of persons in basketball team plus the number of persons in volleyball team and take away from those which are in both the teams that is basketball and volleyball. Do you understand? Now we at times will also use for our union you right and uh, for and we'll use intersection intersection right so in this term let me write down again uh, we have very little space here so i'll just put the formula here for your convenience so we could also say number of members in basketball team or volleyball team is equal to number of members in basketball team plus number of members in volleyball team take away number of members which are common to both that means intersection of volleyball and basketball team right so different ways of understanding this principle of inclusion and exclusion basic thing is that all those outcomes which have been counted more than once should be excluded from the total so that we get the right number of count so that is what it is and i hope this simple statement clearly indicates how we can do it without much problems and a venn diagram which i've shown here makes it even simpler to understand so in the coming examples we will try to solve such questions in different ways and i hope you will appreciate them i'm anil kumar you can always search my videos by writing Anil Kumar uh, Principle of Inclusion Exclusion Playlist or Counting Principles Playlist to get much more, many more examples of similar kind. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to post questions, share my videos and subscribe to them. Thank you and all the best.